All right, guys, I got a 2007 Toyota Corolla here. If your AC does not work, all right, there could be a few reasons, all right? Reason number one, that you have no Freon in the AC lines, all right? So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna find this line on this Corolla, this fat line, all right? You're gonna take a probably a screwdriver, a screw or something. Be careful with your face, don't get this in your eyes. There's a little valve inside, you're gonna push on that. You see that? It got pressure. That means you have good pressure in the system, all right? So let's close this cap back. This is a small diagnostic. Before you spend thousands of dollars, try this guys. Most likely, if you're lucky, one out of 10, maybe nine out of 10, people are gonna get lucky, all right? Cause I have noticed, I have done videos on this before in the past. You have a pressure switch over here. You really can't diagnose this. Cause to diagnose this, you need to be a good electrician, all right? Even me, I don't even make videos on something like this. Cause I gotta check a whole bunch of stuff, all right? It's better. You put on another switch and let it run, all right? Let's see what happens. It's better that way. All right, you also got a high charging port here. You don't want to mess with that one. Too much pressure, but that one you can mess with, all right? Another thing you're gonna do is, you're gonna put your AC on, all right? This is very critical, guys. 99.9999 of the time, this might be the problem on your AC system, all right? Put on your AC system, all right? Put on the AC and everything, put on the cold side. You're gonna come to this fuse box right here, all right? If you look inside here, it's gonna tell you magnet clutch right there. You see on the top it says M, let me get my light better. MG clutch, all right, magnet clutch. That is the relay which is located right here, all right? That relay sends power straight to the AC compressor, all right? Straight to the AC compressor. If that relay is bad, your AC is not gonna work because it's not gonna kick on the AC compressor. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take something similar to this, doesn't have to be this, it could be a screwdriver. All right, with the AC running, everything is running, tap on it, bam, 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 bam. See if your AC kicks on, all right? If AC kicks on, bam, you found the problem, it was a bad relay, all right? 99.999 of the time is a bad relay, all right? But anyways, if you do that and your AC does not work, it's still a possibility that this relay is bad. So take this relay out, all you need is a needle nose, grab this, pull it out, put another relay in, all right? That should fix the problem if the AC relay was bad, all right? But sometimes you hit it, it will click on, but sometimes it won't click on because it's really bad. Sometimes there's a carbon in front of the contacts. Even if you feel it click when you put the AC on, doesn't mean anything, all right? It could be a bad relay itself. First try to hit it, if it doesn't work, then try to replace it with another relay. Uh, there's not a relay here that are similar, but just buy another relay, guys. It's worth a shot. And uh, maybe you'll get lucky, all right? Also, I wanna mention one more thing, all right? And uh, right over here, you have one wire coming up, all right? You see this wire? You can even take your test light. This wire is coming straight from the AC compressor, all right? This is the one right here. It's one single wire. You can rip this open a little bit, back probe that wire, see if your AC compressor is getting power. If you Take your test light, put it to the ground on the battery, and put test light here. And with the AC on, your test light illuminates. It's probably your AC compressor is bad, all right? However, there could be one more problem, all right? Put your AC on, touch this pipe. If it's cold, it could be that your little guy here, you see, in winter, you will have that on heat, all right? In summer, you will put that on cold, all right? Right in here, it's gonna be hard for me to get. Right in back in there, you will see a small part. You see that cable right there? Let me see if I can put my light here. You see that cable? I'm gonna turn the knob, all right? I'm gonna turn the same knob, like back and forth, all right? Watch how that moves. You see that? So, if you put this on heat, that thing goes on heat. If that cable comes out, it's not gonna turn that door back, all right? That door can cause 
due to be stuck on the heat all right that it's stuck on the heat side so you need to really look at that also if your ac system is working everything's working and your line is cold it could be that blend door is stuck on the heat side all right so try that guys and hopefully that helps you guys and also check for fuses in any cars that are related to the ac system i do not see anything here on this car but there has to be ac fuses on the inside all right but you do need to check those anyways thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos so try that relay guys all right bye bye